that reason tms is used as a reference it gives a really strong peak over here so we take that peak as zero chemical shift and uh, chemical shift is is measured in parts per million so we take this as zero parts per million and then we form a linear scale according to where tms lies and yes the solvent used in nmr spectroscopy is cdcl3 which is deuterated trichloromethane basically if you know trichloromethane uh, it is i'll make a displayed structure so we have one carbon atom one hydrogen three chlorine atoms So this is trichloromethane. One hydrogen atom, three chlorine atoms, all attached to a carbon atom. So trichloromethane, which is also known as chloroform. And uh, here we replace this H H atom with a D atom, which is basically de deuterium. Deuterium, uh, if you know that uh, deuterium deuterium is a hydrogen atom which has one proton and one neutron so it has it is one atomic mass unit heavier than hydrogen so it is this d atom one proton one neutron and the h atom is one proton and no neutrons so this d atom is a hydrogen atom with a neutron and uh, this one does not have a neutron so we use cdcl3 as a solvent because we don't want the solvent to have a peak in the nmr spectrum because that just defeats our purpose because if we use trichloromethane for example if we use this molecule for example then we have a, a hydrogen atom over here this one this hydrogen atom we have this hydrogen atom over here and this will give a peak in the nmr spectrum so when we are trying to detect a compound this will interfere with the spectrum and this will confuse us because it will just add another peak an extra peak which we don't want so as i said before some when i was talking about a general rule that nmr spectrum can only works for uh, new for nuclei with odd number of nucleons so this is odd number but if you see one proton what one neutron it makes up for two nucleons this is an even number of nucleons and their spins will cancel out so we will not have the uh, we, this the spectrum will not at, uh, detect this d atom and hence cdcl3 will not interfere with our spectrum now these two things that we have just learned which is tetramethylsilane used as a reference and cdcl3 used as a solvent is very important because from time to time they ask they ask in the exam papers why these two are used and what is or, or they ask what is used as a solvent or what is used as a reference so you should learn this and your answer for that question will be ready okay so now we come back to splitting so as i said we are going to talk about these peaks let me clean this up a bit okay so as i said we are going to talk about why these peaks are divided into lines so for example this peak which corresponds to these hydrogen atoms is divided into three lines now it's not because there are three hydrogen atoms so don't get confused there it's be it's because of something else so i'll tell you what happens 